Yo, what is up guys, it's OneFlar here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the good enough calling card in Cold War Zombies. Now I found that this one is pretty easy for a Dark Ops challenge, and it just takes a lot of time since our guns aren't doing very much damage. To get this one, you have to choose your starting loadout weapon, and you can't upgrade it or pack punch it. Now I found this one to be pretty easy, and I do have a way that I'd recommend completing it, although you can do this in a lot of ways, but with that out the way, I'm going to have to ask you to subscribe if you enjoy, and let's get right into the video. So before you even get into your game, I'd recommend going into your created class menu and putting a class for the Gallo SA-12 with Ring of Fire as your field upgrade. Now the Gallo, it's probably, in my opinion, the most powerful loadout weapon that you can actually choose right now, just because it does about 300 damage for a headshot, and that's probably the best for any loadout weapon right now. And for Ring of Fire, whenever you're standing inside of the ring, you're going to be doing five times the amount of damage, which I'm pretty sure can one-shot zombies on round 20 whenever you hit the headshot. So you can one-shot when you're standing in Ring of Fire with the gallo so that's why i'd recommend running this class and now for the thing that's most likely going to be helping you the most the grenade launcher score streak now this thing it does so much damage and has quite a bit of ammo so it's probably going to be getting you to round 20 alone whenever you kill a whole horde of zombies with this thing it about one or two shots and you get a whole ton of your salvage back you probably get more salvage than you're gonna spend on this thing so whenever one runs out you can just buy another one with the salvage you got from using your first one and you're probably gonna mainly be wanting to use that for this I ended up training in the spawn room and just hoarding all of the zombies up until no more spawned and I use the war machine from what I know, you can use lethals and all that kind of stuff too, because I ended up using it in this game and I still got the calling card, even though it's not really uh, your starting weapon, you can still use it. You can craft these at the crafting table where you get your war machine, and the ones that I'd recommend are the molotovs. These do about 30% of the zombies health whenever they stand in it, and it can be very useful because even if they don't die to it, you can finish them all off and collect all their salvage to help you buy a grenade launcher. So if you're thinking about buying a lethal, I'm pretty sure you can, and I'd also recommend buying a molotov. And now for the strategy I actually use to get this calling card. For what I'd recommend, I'd probably train in the spawn room or wherever you prefer. As you can see in the gameplay here, I tried to sit on the top of Noct, and I kind of, I got hurt a lot of times, and I almost went down a bunch, so I definitely wouldn't recommend sitting up here, because your gun simply won't do enough damage even with Ring of Fire. And, uh, yeah, that is going to the be the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe, as it does help out the channel immensely. I really hope you have a good rest of your day, and peace out.